हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय न्यू सीरीज द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ एविएशन मैन हेवियर देन एयर फ्लाइट वाज अनडाउटेडली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द 20th सेंचुरी इट हैड अ ड्रामेटिक इंपैक्ट ऑन मेनी डेवलपमेंट्स व्हिच वी नाउ रिगार्ड एज प्लेइंग अ क्रूशियल रोल इन शेपिंग द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड स्टे ट्यून्ड वाचिंग बर्ड्स इन फ्लाइट इट इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ आवर एंसेस्टर्स बिकेम फैसिनेटेड by the idea of flying history is littered with stories of would be flyers who jump from towers with artificial wings strapped to their arms inevitably the wing flapping birdman would plummet to the ground with dire consequences ancient myths tell of flying machines even more fanciful but there was one device the kite which did take to the air created in ancient china there are even accounts of people attempting to fly attached to kites but it was with balloons that the first successful human flights were made on 21st november 1783 pilot de rosio and the marquis de alandes made the first free flight in a hot air balloon created by the montgolfer brothers they flew from paris for 8 kilometers at a height of 900 meters 3000 feet The first balloon crossing of the English Channel was made in 1785 by Jean Pierre Blanchard and John Jeffreys. Ballooning became a popular sport, but practical uses were also found for balloons in 19th century warfare, either to carry messages or as an observation platform. Balloons, however, have the drawback of being at the mercy of the winds. Powered and controlled airships do not have this disadvantage. Englishman George Cayley was the first to make real theoretical and practical progress towards heavier than air flight. In his experiments, he investigated the lift and drag created by different wings at various speeds and angles. Cayley applied what he had learned to a series of glider models. This work culminated in his 1853 glider in which his coachman made a flight of 450 meters across Brompton Dale in Yorkshire. Kelly's work influenced aerial pioneers of the next 50 years. Sir George Kelly is sometimes referred to as the father of aviation. He was an engineer and a member of parliament. He worked on a wide range of engineering projects, but is best remembered for his pioneering work in aviation, developing the first proper understanding of the principles of flight. Kelly's 1804 model glider was similar in configuration to modern aircraft with monoplane wings towards the front and a tailplane with horizontal stabilizers and a vertical fin at the rear his man carrying glider first flew in 1853 it was to be the brights who successfully moved from gliding to the first control powered flight if you like my video please like share and subscribe stay tuned